Hey guys. So uh, originally the plan was, you know, I had, well, I ended up uh, getting today off from work, and the plan was to go shoot, but it is like monsooning right now. Like I went to, you know, kind of hung out, slept in a little bit, made some late breakfast, uh, enjoyed some coffee, was listening to some uh, fancy football podcasts. And hanging out, and I was like, ah, you know, I'll go take a shower and, and get dressed, and then maybe go out and shoot. And it was sunny when I went back to the bathroom, and when I came out, it is literally pouring the rain down, like pouring. So I thought I'd knock out a couple videos. I know it's been a while, you know. Sorry, I get distracted easily and and get off task. Um, so I thought I'd make a maybe a video or two, and we'll see. I might just upload them all or save them or who knows. Anyway. So this is going to be, I'm going to talk about press checking your weapon. If you don't know what a press check is, this is a loaded weapon. And you can check by pulling the slide back slightly and looking in. Or pulling it back far enough that you can put your finger in and feel if there's a bullet in there. Always making sure you keep your finger off the trigger, of course. You don't want to throw you know, 147 grain hollow point through the wall. But... Uh, I recently watched a, a YouTube video by somebody else, and I won't uh, mention who it is, but it's a very well-known internet personality as far as firearms are concerned, and he said, stated that uh, he doesn't believe in press checks. You load your weapon, and then you just have faith that it's always loaded. Yeah, that's fine. And the good thing about the, uh, uh, this country is that we can all do our own thing. W with me, I don't just randomly press check my weapon. I don't holster it and then draw it out and press check it for no reason. Uh, but if I lay my, uh, my if I lay my gun down, like I said, it's laying on the counter, and I put my holster on and I'm getting ready to leave, when I pick it up to put it in the holster, I'll press check it. Uh, as long as it's in my holster, then I don't uh, I don't bother with press checking. But anytime that the gun is out of my direct possession. I always press check it when I pick it back up. Now, that's not to say that there's somebody like lurking around my house waiting to unload my weapon. They're like, hee 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 hee. No, it's just uh, it's just something. That it's a habit that I've gotten into. Um, if I take my gun off and put it like in the mornings, you know, I put it in the bedside table. Then I go I, when I wake up, I'll go to the bathroom and then go back and get my gun. And when I pick it up off the bedside table, I press check it. Now there are a couple of notes about press checking your weapon. Uh, first, you don't want to do anything that's going to put your hand in front of the muzzle when you're press checking. You always keep your, you know, this is the way that I prefer to do it, with just my, like, pinching it with my thumb and pulling it back slightly. Uh, you can, you know, do one of those if you want to, however you want to do it. Uh, people will tell you don't rely on press checks because you have to see the bullet. Um, and you know I have on M&P there's a loaded there's a little hole in the chamber that I can look down in and see it I just don't like that little I don't like to be huh, what's going on here I press check it because if it was dark and I was press checking I can just extend this a little bit further and stick my finger in there and feel the round so it's you know that's personal preference oh the other thing is like keep your finger keep your booger hook off the bang switch when you're uh when you're press checking. Um, so it's all personal preference. If you want to press check, press check. If you don't want to press check, don't press check. Same thing like I believe that you should always have a loaded firearm. Like if you own firearms, you should always have a loaded firearm near you in your home. Like not near you like oh it's in the bedroom and I'm in the kitchen. Near you like either you're wearing it or it's sitting right next to you. Um, like while you're at your table or whatever it's sitting there. Uh, well, he's paranoid. No, I'm careful. There's a difference. Uh, there you go, though. Press checks. That's my opinion on them. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy my videos. And, you know, again, I'm sorry that it's been so long. Please give me the thumbs up or the thumbs down if you want to. That's fine. Uh, like my videos if you like them. Whew, man, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it is pouring the rain now. This is ridiculous. I was originally supposed to pick grapes today, so I'm glad that, uh, that didn't happen. Anyway, I digress. Uh, just remember guys, this is America and it's your freedom.
Thanks.